Wellingborough CEX proved to be quite positive for me on a personal level. You'll see why. Welcome to Piers to Mini Games. Hello guys, welcome to PS Too Many Games, a very chill episode once again this week. I mean, I'm in a vibe of just like, it's, let it all hang out. <laughs> <laughs> Using a 1960s hippie phase to express how chill I am right now. This is happening. Uh -huh. Out of sight. In the pocket. Groovy. Also, cut the hair back. He's gone shorter, which means more bald at the front. Yay? <laughs> But I'm in, a, I'm in a good spot at the moment. Uh, last episode, the uh, CEX pricing from last year proved to be quite a positive and uh, well-received episode. A rare moment of PS Too Many Games. <laughs> <laughs> in all seriousness, the last episode seemed to be one of the better episodes we've done for some time. Uh, but thanks to Dave for uh, making the cameo on the episode. I didn't know it was coming, which actually creased me uh, for the first time in ages. Uh, Dave always creases me, but some things crease me more than others, and seeing him... Without him telling me he was in the episode, spice himself in, yeah, that really got me. So, good, good call, Dave. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> but there were mistakes in the last episode. Uh, tradition in PS2 mini games, mistakes are made. Uh, the biggest one was quite a blunder. As I stated in the episode, my mathematics is not fantastic. And when I said the last ep last game was a two hundred percent increase, of course I was completely and utterly wrong. <laughs> it was one hundred percent increase. I got Marley angry and excited, so, uh, angry, <laughs> and I stated a incorrect fact. It was a 100% increase, not 200, so, yeah, I apologise for that mistake. Uh, <laughs> That's right, apologise. But you know what kind of vibe I was going for, it doubled in price. Still don't know why it's doubled in price, but roughly worked out a few other things in that episode, thanks to some uh, comments left by people who watched, so once again, thank you. But let's get back to this week. Wellingborough CEX. Uh, Wellingborough actually is a shockingly nice town. And I don't know why I say shockingly, it's the first time I've been there, but small town, uh, very accessible. Free parking, always a bonus. <laughs> but generally speaking, uh, what I do for a lot of these CEXs, 
it's like get in and get out as fast as I can because uh, if I'm planning to do more than one CX in the day, I'm going to try and go with a quick approach. Uh, Wellingborough is one of the most accessible CX I've been to. Literally, the car park was multiple floors. It was free parking. Went through the door and literally like six doors down. There it was. <laughs> I was like, well, that was uh, incredibly, incredibly easy. <laughs> uh, and it proved incredibly easy. Uh, I found two games, only two games, but two I've been looking for for some time. Two I've actually wanted for some time. One I'm definitely going to play very, very quickly because I'm curious how it plays. And one of them is the greatest PS, one of the greatest two, PS2 games of all time, but in platinum version. I also picked that up near the uh, second half of the episode. Before that, I just realised what the time is. I'm going to splice out and splice back in because I'm about to go watch the Nintendo Direct for full uh, openness. This is being filmed on the uh, 17th or 18th of uh, June. Ninten this, today is Nintendo Direct. I want to see what they're going for. I'm hoping for a few things. I will cut back in a second. Two hours later. Uh, I'm just going to put it right. I am day one buying that Marvel compilation fighting game, Marvel vs. Capcom. I am fucking in. <laughs> very good as usual for Nintendo Direct. There's at least three or four games I'm buying. Uh, very, very, very happy. And Metro Prime still lives. <laughs> Metro Metro Prime Four is still still alive. We shall see how long for. <laughs> Anyway, this is going to be a reasonably small episode because Wellingborough, I wasn't in there Wellingborough for that long, so I haven't really got much to say. All I say is very good at CX store, one of the more professional stores, well organised, I would actually recommend CX Wellingborough. So we'll just throw a commercial in right now, I'll see you on the other side guys. See you in a minute. Welcome back, guys. Uh, no joke this week. I can't be bothered to put one in. <laughs> we're, we're, just, we're just simply back. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention one thing. So last week, obviously, I mentioned I don't care about the football. And I don't really care that much about the European Champions. I don't. Until a certain Discord chat decided to do a football sweepstakes, which I took part in. I'm not going to mention the Discord chat because uh, that's private. <laughs> anyway, uh, I drew France, one of the better football teams in the competition. So, uh... Viva la France! Yes! <laughs> yes, I am totally all France. Yes, they will kick the ball. <laughs> I'm sure the man known as Mpapi will take us to a glorious victory, unlike Napoleon who failed miserably. History, motherfuckers. <laughs> In all seriousness, Napoleon didn't have fail that badly. I think it took the British to stop him, but uh, yeah, he came. He came close. Anyway, let's get to the games. <laughs> oh my god! As I said, only two games, but both these games I've been looking for some time. As I mentioned before, you'd be surprised. There are some games which sold in the millions, which actually are very hard to find on platinum. And the next game, which is uh, considered one of the best games released on PS2, was very hard to find on platinum. Uh, Need Speed Underground Two. This was shockingly hard to find, and finding it in a random CEX really was a was a bonus, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as I mentioned, I think the last episode, Need for Speed Underground Two, uh, probably the best one. My personal favorite, most, most wanted, but it's probably Need for Speed Underground Two is the best uh, Need for Speed. Uh, fight me on that one. Uh, once again, main reason I love it is because when you boot up, the first song you hear is uh, "Riders on the Storm" with the uh, Snoop Dogg remix, and it's so chill. And it's so groove, you get the groove going, and then he's like, yeah, let, let's tune this car, let's fucking go. <laughs> and to this day, when I occasionally play this game, which I do, it gets me back in the groove again. I still personally think most, most of what is the better game, but you go with opinion polls, and yeah, Need for Speed Underground 2 is, is probably the better one, so I'll go with that. But anyway, very happy to hat it. Very happy to hat it. Jesus Christ. Remix. <laughs> uh, very happy to have it. <laughs> Uh, moving on. The hell was that? You might notice, by the way, for those who haven't been watching that for that long, I do ab lib quite a lot. Uh, there's no script for this. It's just literally me looking at a camera, talking to myself, trying to talk to you. It is not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> it took me a long time to get used to this. But to be honest, mostly jokes that Dave comes up with is just my fuck ups. <laughs> so, uh, 
Thank God for Dave for that one. Uh, in, I am editing this one myself, though. Wellingbro is an Adam edit, so it's not going to be as good as Dave can do, but I like doing them myself sometimes. So, grit your teeth, let's move on. <laughs> anyway, the second game is a, is a normal game. A game I'll be like, to be honest, this hasn't been horrifically hard to find. I've seen it twice before, but it's always been times I handed the money. I haven't seen it for months. But, uh, you better sleep with one eye fucking open. Because the Sandman's coming. Guitar hero Metallica! <laughs> Anyone knows I, I played every Guitar Hero game that I owned, which sounds so stupid out loud as unreal, but we're, we're going to go with it. Never got to own this. So the first time I'm ever going to play Guitar Hero Metallica. And as you can see with the price tag, it isn't that cheap. £20 paid. <laughs> but, uh... Everyone knows, anyone who knows any kind of rock knows Metallica, one of the greatest of all time. Uh, got no more to say about that, no jokes. Me loving the some Metallica. <laughs> uh, anything I know about Metallica that isn't like that Metallica related is, for those wrestling fans, Hulk Hogan, who is a passive aggressive racist these days, <laughs> uh, he famously has stated, which is a complete lie, that he auditioned for Metallica. That he either turned down Metallica or they offered him the role of guitar guitarist in Metallica. Which is one of the biggest crocs of shit you will hear in some time. But trust me, the list of lies from Hulk Hogan is staggering. And if I ever do a wrestling related episode, we're going to go through that fucking list. <laughs> anyway, back to reality. I will be playing this very shortly. Not for the channel, because that will get some copyright strikes hitting me like nothing. <laughs> and I want to go at least one month without something a copyright issue. Trust me, they'll be coming thick and fast. Very happy to have this, but look, for some time, I am ecstatic, and you will have no idea how fast I'll be playing Enter Sandman, because that's one of my favourite songs. As I said, you better sleep with one eye open. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so sinister, but it's not meant in any kind of sinister way. So we are going to quickly be moving on. Skadoosh! And that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, what you're going to find with a lot of these um, CX episodes, uh, they're going to be mini ones. Many reasons. One... I didn't get many games to some of these uh, stores. Two, didn't take that much footage because I was technically still on holiday. Three, to be perfectly honest, I want to get in and out of some of these towns because some of these towns weren't exactly what I call brilliant. Wellingbury was one of the good ones, though. I hit you with that one. Fourthly, to be honest, by the fifth or sixth CX, mentally I was dying <laughs> and I was struggling to focus. That's what I get for trying to do them all in a short time. Trust me, when we get the bed fit, you'll see the camera won't go to shit. <laughs> In all seriousness, I need to get one of those, uh, I forgot what they're called. Someone recommended me uh, last episode. Device where you can hold a camera, like, go full vlog. Problem is, I would love to do vlogging more because, but I am so self-conscious that someone's going to be going, like, looking at me going, what the fuck's that arsehole recording? That kind of vibe. I try to keep, like, people's private, I try to keep it private, but it's, it's hard work. Plus, walking around talking to yourself in public isn't exactly the strongest uh, look. Unless you're like a fa reasonably famous YouTuber. Some people can get away with it. This motherfucker cannot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, please comment and subscribe. Uh, actually, in the last three or four, the uh, last two or three weeks, the channel's seen another reasonably good increase. Uh, we're nearly at 1,200. Uh, once again, I'm not one of these guys who's like, it's like sub, 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 sub. I'll do this for fun. <laughs> this will never be a money spinning scheme because this channel ain't gonna make any fucking money. <laughs> unless uh, unless I like somehow make a video that's gonna get like two billion views, which will never happen because I'm not that good at this. Anyway, <laughs> it's getting a bit real. It's getting a bit real all of a sudden. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good day. I'll see you next time, which will be Northampton, which once again, I personally did well there. See you then. Bye.